Hi, I'm Cicely. I've really been enjoying watching the Kimchi Chronicles TV show. Like Marja, my father is African American and my mother is Korean. And I lived in Korea for a year after college. So watching the show really brought back the experience of traveling around the country and seeing amazing things and trying all the different regional specialties. I'm really glad that Marja is acting as an ambassador for Korean food and culture to the American audience. So when I was growing up, pindetuk was one of my favorite foods and my mom would make it for me all the time. Even when I went away to school, she would make a batch for me to take on the plane with me. I'd be on the plane and there would be this smell of kimchi wafting around and I would think, I hope nobody realizes that it's coming from my bag. So the other night, my husband and I were watching the Kimchi Chronicles rerun and we got so hungry that I went to the kitchen, I had already soaked some mung beans and rice and I was able to just whip up a batch of pindet duck. It's really fast once you have the mung beans and rice soaked and we had the most amazing midnight snack. So here are the mung beans that I've soaked with the sweet rice. I have the recipe since we have a small family, so it's just one cup of mung beans and a half, eighth of a cup of rice. Here's half a cup of chopped kimchi, and I also saved um, a little bit of the juice to use along uh, with the kimchi in the batter. So here we have the mung beans and rice. I'm going to put them in the blender, well drained. A quarter cup of the kimchi liquid and also a quarter cup of water. Half a teaspoon each of my soy sauce and uh, fish sauce and sesame oil. And a little bit of salt. And then my secret ingredient. Half a teaspoon of baking powder to make the pindet duck fluffy. So here you go, you want the puree to be smooth but still have some body to it. So here we're going to mix in the kimchi. Okay, so here we're putting in a good amount of oil. You're not quite deep frying them, but you definitely want there to be enough to go around. And I'll heat the oil to medium high heat. ingredients for the dipping sauce, soy sauce and sesame oil again. This is rice vinegar and this is gochukaru, it's red pepper powder. So again I'm making a half recipe for the dipping sauce. I'm going to put in a quarter cup of my soy sauce. And an eighth of a cup of sesame oil. A tablespoon of gochukaru. You can use le yeah, less if you don't like it spicy. And a tablespoon of the rice vinegar. And then two, three chopped scallions. The key to proper frying is making sure that the oil is hot enough. So I'm just gonna wet this chopstick a little. Sizzling, that's a good sign. Okay. <clears throat> Just give this another stir to make sure everything is mixed up. And I'm flattening the pancakes a little bit. So finally I get to eat this. Mmm. It's great. It has a really nice crunch. And I love the hotness of the dipping sauce. Just gives it a nice zing. So you can have this as a late night snack or with drinks. You can also maybe make a salad on the side and have it as a light lunch. It's fast, it's easy, it's full of great flavors. This is just the kind of cooking that I love.